Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about an idea or a pattern of thinking that came up pretty early in my life. It's a pattern of thinking that I think some teachers and authority figures, and sometimes parents, promote when dealing with children or young people. And it's a pattern of thinking that I think is unhealthy and that can contribute to depression, anxiety, and a number of other mental disorders. The setting in which this idea often comes up is school and grades. I heard a lot of teachers say things like, you need to get good grades now because your grades now are going to determine what college you get into, and you need to get into a good college because that's going to determine what kind of job you get, and that's going to determine how much money you'll make, and what kind of life opportunities you'll have, and that's going to determine how happy you are. And people would talk about ideas of like success and things like that. And they would use all these leaps of reasoning. They would have like, t they'd be talking about something small, like an assignment, and they'd go from the, your, how hard you were working on the assignment, to your grade in the class, to your grades overall, to where you're going to college, and so on, like later events. The way they would talk about this, I think, often overemphasized the importance of each step. Now that I'm 34 and I look back over my life, I can't even remember most of my grades from middle school. My grades from high school didn't have much, much impact. I didn't get very good grades. I ended up going to Oberlin College. I ended up going to grad school at University of Delaware and then at Yale. So I think I did pretty well. My GPA in high school wouldn't have necessarily suggested that. So a lot of these things that the teachers were telling me were outright wrong. Now how does this relate to depression and anxiety? Depression is something that I have struggled with a great deal over my life, and it's gotten bad at times. I've been to a number of counselors for it, and at times I've felt suicidal. One thing I've learned about depression is that depression is characterized by certain patterns of thinking. When I'm depressed, I tend to think negatively, like I'll go from one little thing to something bigger. So I might think, oh, I messed this one thing up, oh, everything is going to go wrong, and then I start thinking, oh, I'm a complete failure, like I'm an idiot, I'm just like, I'm not good at getting things done, I'm not good at getting results, like I'm not going to go anywhere in life, and I start having this spiral of negative thoughts. It's interesting because when I examine my own thinking when I'm in a depressed state, it, it, it contains some of the very fallacies of reasoning that I think teachers were using when talking to me as early as elementary school, but particularly when I got to high school and people started talking about success and college and competition and achievement. I think it's very important for us as a whole society to recognize these destructive patterns of thinking and to see the relationship between something that may seem like a, a relatively harmless form of social control that teachers are using to try to encourage kids to do their homework or to pay attention in class, the relationship between that and mental disorder and the thoughts that go on in people's heads that can in some cases drive them to suicide. I think that there is a large degree to which our culture is kind of sick that there are a lot of ideas floating around out there that actually contribute to mental disorder, and that as a society we don't have the ability to recognize them very easily yet. And one of the things I want to do is to talk about them and help people to more easily recognize these ideas so that they can challenge them and so that they can keep them out of their own life and keep them out of their own head and keep them out of the culture around them. So I hope this has given you some insight, and I hope that you will be able to prevent some of these ideas from propagating through society. And I hope that by doing this, we will be helping to overcome and prevent things like depression, anxiety, and other mental disorders.